Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Interesting announcement made by Navigraph today. Navigraph have launched the flight performance calculator in this SimRiff application where you can calculate takeoff as well as the landing performance of an aircraft. And you know how important it is to have this data. You must be already familiar with the screen of a screen SimRiff application. So here on the left hand side, you can see the section called performance and tools. If I click on this, you will have uh, this performance calculator available for your flight planning. Pretty simple layout and easy to understand even if you are uh, new to the performance calculation. Here you can populate uh, the flight details of your last flight just by clicking here. Just for our demonstration, I will quickly create a flight plan and uh, we will back on the screen again. So for our planning, I will just quickly select two random airports. So first one I will select is the Vector Alpha Bravo Bravo, which is Mumbai. And the second one I will select is uh, Singapore Whiskey Sierra Sierra Sierra. So aircraft type for our today's flight will be A320 Neo and the airframe which i'm going to select is my favorite uh, fly by wire and i'm pretty sure you might have already installed uh, the senior flight simulator i'm not going to change anything here or anything here i will just check what is my departure runway right now i'm sitting in mumbai and i know runway 27 is active i'm not sure about the arrival runway at singapore so i will just keep it as a 20 right and we already have uh, got this flight plan from same brief i will just quickly generate the flight plan okay so we have a flight plan available with us i will just go to the performance and tools and now we are going to calculate our takeoff performance for this flight plan i will just populate this from the last flight so here we have got the details of our aircraft a320 neo fly by wire airport is vector alpha bravo bravo runway is also selected from here i can populate the weather details here also if you want to select uh, or you, if you want to change your flap setting you can change it from here your thrust setting your blitz setting anti-icing as of now it is not required in mumbai so i will keep it as off your wind details are here your temperature your pressure everything is set to be here right now it is not uh, raining in mumbai i don't know why it is set as wet i will just click on dry i do understand this takeoff weight is little uh, on higher side it is 71.5 tons uh, i'm not going to change my flap setting i will just keep it as optimum let the system select it the flex assume temperature is enabled and improved climb calculation i have i will keep it as disabled if you want to know what is it uh, what is this improved climb calculation you can just click on this uh, question mark and you will have the explanation for this i will just close it and we will click on calculate so here on right you have your aircraft registration aircraft type your engine type uh, your total takeoff weight blitz setting anti-icing setting flap so here here as per optimum takeoff uh, weight the flap 2 is recommended as i said the weight was on the higher side 71.5 so that's why flap 2 is set here flex is set assume temperature is 57 so you have your calculations available with you your v1 vr and v2 speed uh this this is the basic information you have so here you can see the the graphical representation i would say so on right hand side you have your v1 vr and v2 speed and then here at down you have a takeoff distance available takeoff uh, runway available as well as what accelerated stop distance available and the landing distance available so these two things obviously for important for us uh, while we are taking off and obviously if you are rejecting the takeoff then accelerated stop distance available that is also important. So the latest rejection is at uh, the 7289 feet and if we have a manual braking then margin available is 2321 feet. So these are the details which obviously you need to enter into the flight computers whenever you are taking off. So let's quickly go and see our landing performance. Again, all the details are populated here. You can obviously change as per your flight, uh, how it goes. You can modify, maybe this is possible that your landing weight can be higher or the lower than this. You can change that. Flap setting, obviously, uh, I will keep it as uh, full as of now because of our weight and brakes. I can set whatever you can, so you can set max manual, auto medium or auto low. I will just keep it as optimum reverse search, yes. Whatever details you want to change, you can change the pressure, surface condition, wind, everything you can change uh, change here and you can calculate uh, your landing performance again if you want to check what is uh, the calculation method what is in flight method what is dispatch method you can just click it here and you can read it 
I will just calculate this and I will have my landing performance calculated. So runway 20 right. So takeoff distance available again takeoff runway available that is not important but uh, landing distance available becomes very important when it comes to a landing. Uh, select your braking as auto low so approximately 7000 feet so a feet of runway is required to stop uh, at uh, this with this given condition so this is all this is all the this is what is available right now into the landing as well as a takeoff performance calculator there's a one more thing which is here so if i wanted to see what are the routes available between the mumbai and singapore i will just have to click the departure airport what is my arrival airport you can select whatever your aircraft type is i will just click it uh, jet I will just select as a jet and just click on search so you will have uh, the flight plan available on watch sim sim brief and there might be a people who might have already do uh, already flown using this flight plan so all this uh, around 10 routes are available uh, with us these are given suggested routes from the sim brief database so this is a very good tool given by the navy graph uh, for the hardcore seamers and I'm pretty sure I'm going to use this for uh, my upcoming flights and if you want to try it please install same brief and then give it a try and no need to go to those websites now where we have to visit to calculate the flight performance thank you so much navigraph and thanks all for watching this video if you have any questions please do let me know thanks for your support uh, have a nice day take care jahin bye bye